So you want to haul a bunch of stuff and you want to be protected. This is the video for you. We're going to be flying the Ocader, which is considered to be one of the better hauler ships in EVE Online. Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Laura here, digital advertiser, content creator, and EVE enjoyer for the better part of 10 years now. Thank you again for 1,700 subscribes. I really appreciate it. We're hitting it. We blew past 1,600. Thank you kindly. So... This is the Arcator, but this fit will also apply in general to the other T2 haulers for your race. So if that's yours, make sure you stick around. This is considered the deep space transport of the Tech 2. And let's talk about why you would want to fly the Arcator for just a moment. Okay, we cover this in our hauling tips video, but typically when you have your hauling ships, let me go to my races hauling ships, you got two types of Tech 2 haulers. You're going to have the blockade runner, which is slippery and fast. The whole point of it is to be cloaked. We just put out a video, but that go check it out. Then you have the deep space transport, which is tanky and extremely difficult to kill and lock down. Okay, so that's the point of this. That's why you would want to use this. All right. You have a easy, easy, off the top, plus two bonus to warp core ship strength. This means that if you have a warp core stab on this, we don't. We're going to talk about it. You need faction warp cores. You need multiple ships able to keep you from warping. This is great. This is fantastic. Since I mainly use this for high sec moving, I don't necessarily need another warp core stab, but this is fantastic. The next thing you want to check out is you get a double bonus from over heating various things including your resistance modules your tank modules and your repair stuff yes you can use repair modules on a hauler to never die L literally it do be tanky okay thank you and then finally we've got all the bonuses to armor rep and your various hauling stuff you get the bigger you get the bigger cargo space if you get more transport ship things i have transport ship four right now and it's got a massive cargo but laura it's only got 3,900. Ladies and gentlemen, may I welcome you into the absolute fantastic thing that is the Fleet Hangar. Okay, the Fleet Hangar carries 60,000 M3. It's the biggest cargo ship I own currently. It's fantastic. And we're not even rank five. That's amazing. The Fleet Hangar, if you don't know, is a hangar that not only uh, you can put stuff in there and is as massive as it looks, but you can actually interact with this Fleet Hangar from space if you are in the same fleet. You can see that here on your uh, window here. You could say enable access to fleet members, enable access to corp members. This, if it's lit up, will let the various people pull and put stuff into the fleet hangar. Very cool if you're with a buddy and you want to be just like a backpack roaming around. Very cool. But I use it primarily to go up to Jitta, go up to the trade up, dump my stuff, make a bunch of money. Okay, starting at the top. We have a cloak and a micro warp drive. Yes, we have a cheap micro warp drive. If you have watched any of our recent videos, this is the micro warp drive cloak trick. One of the only ways to stay safe in high sec amidst all of this. Make sure you're off grid as much as possible and you can align with ease and safety. Dare I say safety. You haven't gotten ganked in this, but they're, we, they're out there. Well, they're out there. Do what you can to stay safe. So we've got the cloak also in case we just got to go sit in space and be safe. You know, we got a lot of stuff here. If you got to bounce in between planets, this gives you time just to relax, take your time, do what you got to do. The interdiction nullifier is for if you leave high sec. We do plenty of uh advent adventures with this ship going into some scary spot and this spots and this lets us do that you can't be bubbled in high sec etc but this lets you get out of the bubbles when you need to and you might so make sure you got your interdiction nullifier on there if you would like there's plenty of other high stuff you can put in there maybe a scanner if you can make it fit but this is what i like so far so a cheap micro warp drive you're not going to be using this to speed up that's not how i use it i use it just to pulse so i can start my align time faster and so i can use the micro warp drive uh, mwd trick a note you'll see our align time is 19 seconds yeah that's a long time a tip for you and this is necessary if you uh, pulse your micro warp drive one time your align time becomes however long the micro warp drives activation timer is i believe it is 10 seconds so you really do cut down on all the things i'm not seeing it here but it's somewhere in all this math there it is activation time 10 seconds again if you pulse your micro warp drive on off it will go to the to the start if as long as you're aligned and warping trying to warp you will warp once the micro warp drive is done i'm going to show you that in just a moment as well so finally we got just a little bit of shield extender i started and i recommend when you build this depending on your skills you start with the armor tank i'm very armor tanked on this start there and then whatever excess cap you have whatever excess cpu and power grid put these various things in here these were kind of throwaways i threw a medium shield extender one you can see we have zero cpu we really pushed this to the top sheesh and then finally we just have a little cap recharger just because this is a bit of an active tank uh, so i do have just whatever could fit my cpu in there 
right there. A small tip for you as well, if you want to see what else you can do, let's say I took, let's say I took this out, okay? I want to see what can fit inside of this one slot. What I'm going to do is you have this filtered with this filtered. This is show me items that can fit this hull. And this one is show me items that can fit based on the rest of my CPU and power. Really great stuff if you're trying to find the right thing for you. So I want something for the mid slot. Okay, what do we got? Oh, engineer equipment. Hey, look at that. I can throw this cap recharger on there. It's not a lot, but it takes me from 5.7 to 9 uh, cap regen. That's almost double. Now for the fun stuff. The big boy damage control. This is uh, also could do another reactive armor hardener here, but I like having the stuff, the resistance on your hull as well. I find that to be a more holistic tank for something like this, this giant nose of a ship. And it is a nose and nothing else. Nothing else. Thank you kindly. We're going to have two uh, active armor hardeners, the EM and the explosive. These were our, our least amount of tank from uh, the actual, like, the raw hull, this was the one we had to plug the most. And then from there, we just have a, a global membrane just to cover everything faction. Gotta spend it. Spend some money on this, really. Spend some money on your tank here because you want to be able to ship a bunch of items to Jitta or to wherever in safety. The more you spend on this, the less likely someone's going to be able to kill you. People are not going to be able to kill you with this. I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, finally, a reactive armor hardener just to be able to, like, whatever we're facing, we're going to get a bunch of tank towards that, okay? And then, and then steel plates but just to make sure that our hp is absolutely huge okay this when i was playing around with this uh you don't have bonuses to steel plates or our like armor strength it's mainly to resistances you see that repair amount resistances to overheating but when i played around with it for the cap this was the best one to put in there that could fit based on my skills okay so it helps we're mainly an armor tank increasing the buffer there sounds good to me we have a trimark armor pump to really push your hp a little bit higher and again trimark armor pump these are percentage increases at 40 percent you get 20 and then 10 percent i believe is how it works and you have the diminishing returns all of that culminating in, if we go into our simulator, you have a, a hundred and seven, almost a hundred and eight thousand HP. Okay. But that's not all. I'm not done. Remember, you get bonuses to overheating. If you're in a pinch, start overheating these bad boys. Dear Lord, a hundred and thirty three thousand HP. Nothing's killing you. Okay. At least not in high sec. All right. Uh, um, roaming bands of gankings, stuff in low sec. Be careful. You're never immune any, but I find that this is plenty to be very safe and have the peace of mind to be able to escort all of your Halloween goodies or and other stuff to Jitta and back. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in space. We are warping. I'm turning down the music because the warp is very loud. And I'm going to show you how to use the various things, mic warp drive trick, how to pulse your mic warp drive right now. When you're in space, it goes without saying, make sure, make sure that your active tanks are on at all times. It is the first thing you should do whenever you leave. Make sure they're on and go from there. I'm going to jump through this and show you how we use the mic warp drive trick right now. Okay. Okay, we just jumped through a thing. We're gonna, here's how you're gonna do this. You're gonna take stock of what you got. You got a full minute of this cloak. Take your time. We've got some stuff on gate, possible scouts, definite scouts, just a heron chilling. We're looking at local, no reds, no yellows. I think we're okay. We're gonna pulse our D scan. We see nothing crazy, a heron and atron, not a problem. Okay, so we're just gonna take stock of that. If you saw some reds, you'd have to be careful. We're going to warp to this. I'm going to pulse my there it is i'm gonna pulse on my micro warp drive once and you'll see as i end the micro warp drive we're going to warp in three two one now thank you kindly so instead of the 18 seconds it takes about 10 seconds maybe it's 11 but it's still shorter than 18 seconds now laurel that's seven se that's a long time when you're sitting on a gate when you're in this kind of ship people see you're hauling they're like is it a loot pinata if i kill it are there prizes you don't want to be that person okay so that's how you do that little mic warp drive toggle trick so that's the fit that's the ocator that's how you do the deep space transport tanking that's how you fly it in space and that's how you get your stuff from A to B safely. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, again, for 1,700 subs. There's going to be some E videos popping up on the screen right meow. If you would like to check this out, please check them out, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.